So, here's John and I off on another adventure. We're taking a trip to Kenny Glasgow's home in beautiful downtown Linton, BC. Yeah, this is, this is a great place for a visit if you're a motorhead like me and mechanical minded. Uh, Kenny's just a fascinating, fascinating guy to talk to. And uh, so knowledgeable, all book read, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, his metal art here is second to none. Where do you see it? If you look on the right here, you're going to see his, his Kenny's gate is a giant Bowie knife. It's really cool. You see a better view of it at the end of the video. And uh, that Winchester that he's built up above the top there, uh, on a previous ride I was down here and seen him, he had it on the go. He hadn't mounted it yet. It's got to be like 30 feet long. It, it's all, all from his mind. Thinks these things up and built them. Yeah, it's quite interesting. He's got a lot of uh, sayings and poems and all that kind of thing uh, written up and hanging uh, on his property as well with his sculptures. Okay, you were saying something about the bikes on the uh, right there, the, the three bikes? Yeah, uh, Kenny uh, dreams these ideas up in his head and then uh, goes with them. That the original start was of the smallest bike there, which was to scale basically, and then and uh, he was just going to do the front part of it, and the, the, he'd be a rider riding through a tree. So when you entered the yard, you'd see this bike leaving a tree as if the rider could roll through it. And then a friend talked him into, he said, you got to finish that bike, and he didn't know if he could, but he decided he'd uh, tackle it, and it come out way better than he thought. Anyway, and then he went on to uh, think about the second bike and he wanted to build it twice as big. So he uh, measured every single part and multiplied it by two and went out to his scrapyard and looked for pieces that he could build that bike and get it as close as he could. And it just came out so good and uh, he was really happy with it. And then uh, one day he was sitting there and he decided all of a sudden it came to his mind times three times three he's got to build another bike so he started measuring the parts again and and looked around to find tires that right size and um he, every single part he had to find from the scrapyard it's just amazing that he can uh, round this stuff up and make it look so real and that's an su carb there they built uh, specific to match the ones on the harleys yeah fascinating stuff yeah, John, you know, seem to know those uh, bikes really well. Uh, what about the sculptures and that kind of stuff uh, on his property here? Yeah, he just uh, they just kind of like come into his head. He just dreams them up and he'll dream up the sculpt, uh, an image of a sculpture that he wants to build. And then he'll basically give it a size or it'll, maybe he'll have a size when it comes into his mind. And every, every uh, one that he builds has a story to go with it. And that's where these... Uh, uh, sayings come from. He's an incredible doctor. Well, when I was casting around for uh, information about uh, Kenny's home here, I did come across a quote that uh, he's, he's quite, I guess he's quite famous for, but uh, so here it goes. It's, welcome to my debris of independence, the remaining parts of my throwaway youth, my hovel of broken accomplishments, my plans of yesterday's failures. My wreckage of shattered dreams, my promise of great returns. Yes, come in. We can cry over yours as well, for it is only human to share. It's a great mind to come up with something like that. Yeah, me and my wife visit him several times, and uh, I've heard him tell us that story in person, and it's the depth of thought that he puts into it when he's talking. He's just such a fascinating guy to talk to and listen to. Yeah, if you want to visit this, man, you can spend a few hours easy. I, I've been there 
two or three times and each, every time I find new stuff that's uh, totally entertaining. Yeah, I was very surprised that the first time I've ever been uh, to this uh, this uh, Ken, Kenny's home here, and it was it was just it was mind blowing. It was it was really interesting. Yeah, a lot of stuff to look at. Here's one of Kenny's more famous quotes at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, read it, it's real entertaining. He comes up with this stuff steady. Yeah, so here we are leaving. Uh, it was a, uh, it's a great place to come to. Just respect the area, respect this property. And there actually is a donation box here too to help them uh, pay for all the welding rod and whatever all he puts into this. So uh, uh, be generous, leave, leave them something. And as we ride out the gate, have a look to the left-hand side there and you can actually see the giant Bowie knife that the gate's made out of. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> amazingly entertaining, just love it. Yep, thanks for coming. Uh, it's been great to have you along. Yeah, thanks for coming and have a great ride. <laughs>